the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were spotted enjoying a casual meal at a local pub about 10 minutes from their home in Windsor with baby Archie. The family reportedly spent two hours enjoying an $18 meal and Harry even enjoyed a beer. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle aren't done having the best summer ever just yet. Despite doing lavish things like flying on private jets to Avisa and France, it appears the royal duo is just as happy having a little family time at a local pub. The royal couple and their son, baby Archie, were spotted at the Rose and Crown Inn, Berkshire's Winfield Village. The restaurant is located just about a 10-minute drive away from their home at Windsor. The family reportedly spent two hours quietly dining together inside the tiny neighborhood pub while Harry enjoyed a pint, or two, and Meghan sipped on water. They were on a table with, I presume, a private secretary, one other restaurant goer told the Sunday Meghan was cradling Archie most of the time. The little lad was as good as gold, I didn't hear him cry once while he was there. According to the man, no other customers seemed to recognize the family, who was also there with two security officers. The staff clearly knew who they were but kept the service low-key, he shared. According to the source, the couple chatted away like any normal couple and were laughing a lot. And that laughter is likely welcome after all the controversy the couple has faced in recent weeks over their decision to fly on private jets despite their vocal support for environmental conservation. After the controversy, they have been attracting they were getting their feedback on the ground with pub grub like millions of ordinary folk, and it was nice to see, the onlooker said. The couple enjoyed a Sunday roast together, which set them back about $18. So, just goes to show you, not everything in their life has to be fancy. Earlier this week, The Sun published a story about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, enjoying a meal at pub. Now, the restaurant in question, Winkfield's Rose and Crown, is denying that it ever happened. A spokeswoman for the pub told Harper's Bazaar that Meghan, Harry, and Archie did not in fact patronize the establishment. Her statement goes against what the Sun source, a 53-year-old businessman, was quoted as saying. He gave a detailed description of the scene, and specifically identified the Sussexes. They were on a table with, I presume, a private secretary. Meghan was cradling Archie most of the time, he said. The little lad was as good as gold, I didn't hear him cry once while he was there. The Sun's royal reporter Emily Andrews has yet to comment on this new development in the story. It's not uncommon for royals to be victims of a hoax. Earlier this summer, both Meghan and her sister-in-law the Duchess of Cambridge had their names caught up in false, beauty-related allegations. The Mirror uncovered an entire online campaign that claimed Meghan swore by certain diet pills. Pictures of the Duchess were used in online ads, which also featured fake quotes attributed to her. Palace staffers quickly condemned the campaign once the Mirror brought it to their attention. This is obviously not true and an illegal use of the Duchess name for advertising purposes, a spokesperson said. We will follow our normal course of action. And as for Kate, a doctor posted a side-by-side -side of her on Instagram, suggesting that one photo was taken before she underwent a cosmetic procedure, and another after. Kensington Palace issued a swift denial, saying the post was categorically not true, adding, in addition, the royal family never endorsed commercial activity.